talk about today. The first is There Is No Me Without You by Melissa Fay Green. The subtitle is One Woman's Odyssey to Rescue Her Country's Children. This is the story of a woman in Ethiopia who ends up by chance running an orphanage for Ethiopian orphans. This book was really well written, beautifully written, hard to read, of course, um, tough subject matter. It goes into the history of Ethiopia as a country and the history of AIDS and HIV um, series on where it came from and how it began. And it was just a, an incredible story, very engrossing, very sad, um, but really enjoyable at the same time. She she goes into the overall picture of AIDS and HIV in Africa and down to the individual level of some personal stories of the children there and their adoptions as well. So it's a great read if you are interested at all in adoption, in the history of AIDS, in Ethiopia as a place. Um, I highly recommend it. The second book I finished recently is The Road Home by Ellen Emerson White. Ellen Emerson White is the author of the more well-known um, President's Daughter series. Uh, this one is part of the Echo Company series, a series of books on Vietnam that were, was written in the 90s. This is the fifth and last book in the series and I haven't read the other ones. This one can be a standalone series as it focuses just on Rebecca Phillips, a nurse in Vietnam, and she's 21-22 at the time this one takes place. The character is so um, just relatable. She's so sarcastic and intelligent and uh, I just really enjoyed her as a person and I also really enjoyed coming in on the story after all of these things have happened that she alludes to and she mentions um, but having not read the first ones I kind of I really liked having this sense of, yes, this person has a history and she has relationships, but I don't need to know all the details. Uh, just, just from this story, it's enough to feel like everything's really believable, all the relationships feel very real. Um, I really enjoyed the humor and the rawness of, of being in this Vietnam story. Um, the book says, the war is over, but Rebecca's journey is just beginning. It makes it sound like you know, it's 1975 and the war is over, but it actually begins with the Tet Offensive, so it's in 1968, and the first half of the book is, she's still in Vietnam, and the second half of the book, her tour of duty is over, or her um, service in, her year-long service in country is over. I don't know if you call it a tour of duty if you're a nurse, but anyway, so it's both in country and when she is back in the world, uh, how she how she heals and does not heal from both her physical and emotional wounds and injuries, and I just really enjoyed the character and the voice and the dialogue is great, and I really highly recommend this novel. Uh, let me know if you've read it or if you've read any of the Echo Company series. That's it for me today. Thanks for watching.